Well, summer is in full swing and it is getting hot out here. Are you worried about how your rabbits are handling the heat and what you can do for them in the summertime? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Uh, today we're talking about how to care for your rabbits in the summertime. It is hot out here in southwest Missouri. Actually, got a little bit of a break from it today. It's only like 85 degrees out today, and I think about a 75% humidity, so it's still like you know, sweating and whatnot, but it's not as hot as it has been. It's been up in the upper 90s with heat indexes up about 105, 106 degrees every day. Just incredibly hot out, miserable. So if you live in another part of the country, um, you know, and it's not as hot there, or you think it's hot there, you don't think it gets that hot in southwest Missouri, it does get that hot in southwest Missouri. We have hot summers. All right, to the point of the video here. What do you do with your rabbits when it gets hot outside? If you're watching this video, you probably already know rabbits wear a big fur coat and they struggle in the heat of summer. They do much better in winter, much better in the colder temperatures than they do when it gets up about 80 degrees or above and they really start to struggle a little bit with that. Um, you know, again, big fur coat on and they're just not meant to be able to handle the heat like that. Um, there's not really a whole lot you need to do special for your rabbits. You will see people talk about adding um, ice to their buckets, um, adding um, frozen water bottles, uh, freezing tiles, all those kinds of things. And you can do that for sure, but it's a lot of extra work. And honestly, that stuff only lasts just a couple hours. At least around here, it only lasts a couple hours. I can freeze a two liter bottle of uh, like a soda bottle full of water, throw it in the cage, and in about three hours, it's completely melted. It's no longer all that cold. So to me, it's a lot of extra work for really not much return on it. Same thing, if I put ice in their water buckets, it only lasts a couple hours, and then it's, it's not really cold anymore anyway. And they're not sitting there drinking water all day long, so they're not really getting that much of a benefit from it. Uh, there are a couple of other things you can do. You can add fans. You don't want to have the fan blowing directly on the rabbit. You want to have it blowing over the top of the rabbit just to have air circulation and ventilation. Ventilation is the key, and that's one of the reasons I really like these all-wire cages. And you can see what my rabbits are doing. Well, maybe you can see this in the background. Pretty much heat of the day like this, they're just sprawled out on the wire, just laying out on the wire, getting a little bit of a breeze coming through, and just trying to stay cool. Um, you can add swamp coolers if you're in a arid climate. I am not in an arid climate. Like I said, humidity here is, you know, it averages about 70% or so probably, and uh, swamp coolers just don't work. Um, and if you don't know what a swamp cooler is, that's like a, like a misting system, so you miss the hutch. Again, you don't want to miss the rabbits directly. You want to miss the hutch, the surrounding hutch, that area, and the evaporation of that water causes the, the temperature to drop and to be a little bit cooler inside the hutch area. Again, that doesn't work here because water doesn't evaporate. There's just too much humidity in the air. So, But if you live in an arid climate, it could definitely be a solution for you and it can help drop the temperature. The biggest things to do for your rabbits, really, keep them in the shade, make sure they're never in direct sunlight, and I always try to keep the, the whole hutch is in the shade, not just the shade of the hutch on them, but put it under a tree. Put it in, This is on the south side of my house, excuse me, the north side of my house. <laughs> I got that backwards. So the sun comes up, you know, it's in the southern sky, so the shade of the house is over the whole hutch. So they're never in direct sunlight. Direct sunlight never hits the hutch itself, uh, even the roof. I've got a roof on this hutch, which you can't see in the video, but they have more shade than just the roof of the hutch. So hopefully that makes sense. Put them under a tree. Put them under you know some heavy tree cover where there's never sun beating directly on the hutch. That will help a lot. Um, plenty of ventilation. Make sure that they have fresh, clean water available to them at all times. Make sure the watering system doesn't run dry and keep that in the shade as well. You don't want that bucket sitting in the sun, heating up the whole time. It needs to be kept in the shade so it doesn't get too terribly hot. Again, there's not much you can do really to keep it that cold unless you were to run you know, lines to it and, you know, uh, refriger refrigeration and all that kind of stuff, which is just too much, really. Honestly, even though the rabbits struggle in the heat of summer, they really do just fine if you just leave them alone during the heat of the day. Come out, do your chores in the morning or the evening, after the heat of the day has passed, when it's cooled down at night, uh, before it gets hot in the mornings, come out, do your feeding, do any kind of chores you need to do. My buck has got ear mites again, which is not a big deal, easy to treat. I've done videos on that before. But I always treat him first thing in the morning before the sun comes up, before it gets too hot out there. You don't want to get your rabbits all worked up 
during the heat of the day. If you do have a rabbit that goes into heat stroke, and you'll probably know right away that it's heat stroke because the rabbit will be sitting there with its head up and panting real heavy. You know, I make funny faces for you guys, but you get the point. <laughs> Painting real heavy. It's an obvious thing. That is a very dangerous thing for a rabbit. What you need to do is to bring it into a cool environment at that point and uh, cool it down slowly. Do not just douse it with cool water or anything like that. You'll send it into shock. Bring it to a cool environment. Let it cool down slowly. Honestly speaking, if you get a rabbit that gets to that point, it's probably too late. Very seldom do they actually make it back. They are very fragile when it comes to those kinds of things. But again, leave them alone during the heat of the day they're generally going to be just fine. And you can see um, the funniest thing here, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but I've got two grow outs in here with mom and uh, they tend to just lay right up against her. And you'd think, why would they want to do that? Isn't it hot as can be outside? But they do and they are getting along just fine. Um, brings me to another point. You know, when I did try to use some frozen water bottles at one point, my rabbits didn't use them at all. You can try that. Take a two liter bottle, freeze it in your deep freezer, put it in the cage. Your rabbits may or may not lay against it. It may help a little bit. My rabbits didn't use it at all. Um, it was just more work than it was worth for me. But the only other consideration is don't breed during the heat of summer. I mean, you can if you want to. There are breeders that do it. I don't. Um, it's just too stressful on the rabbits whenever, um, you know, the hottest parts of the summer. So really from about May through August into the first part of September, that's generally about the hottest time of the year for us. I don't breed during those months. I keep all my breeding for the fall and the winter. Um, there is a chance that your bucks can go sterile if they are over 85 degrees, 80 to 85 degrees. Bucks can go sterile temporarily. It's not a permanent thing and it's not a guarantee that they will but it's a, it's a big possibility. So it's really best to just give them a break during the heat of summer. Don't put that extra stress on them. Uh, just leave them be. Like I said, don't mess with them during the heat of the day. Leave them alone. Don't get them worked up. And generally they're going to handle it pretty well, especially if you're getting rabbits, uh, your, your stock breeding supply from local breeders. They're, they're fairly acclimated to the weather in your area and generally they're going to be just fine. Just don't get them all worked up during the heat of the day. That's, that's really my biggest tip. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video. And uh, as always, God bless.